morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? We hope you are all well. I'm joined by Kelly today. It's nice to have you back, Kelly. Did you miss me for one day? I did miss you for one day. Of course I missed you. Yeah. I miss you for one day, two days. We always, two always hours. miss you. Maybe not two hours, in fairness. In fairness. So today, I was just getting rid of that. Today, we've got a really exciting live, haven't we? We've got something a little bit different. Yeah. A little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at the Italian brand. And you have to say, Peg Perego. Do you oh, like my Italian it. flair? Yeah. We should have gelato here. That's Italian, isn't it? Gelato. Yeah, the gelato. ice cream. Yeah. yeah, we always talk about food. If you've just joined pasta. us. I've got pasta for my lunch. You've got pasta for your lunch. What have I got? I have no idea what I've got for lunch. No idea. We've got a great prize for you this morning. All you need to do is join in with the chat. We will show you the prize in a moment. It's one of the things here. And it's not Baby David. It's not Baby David. No. It's not Baby David, but it's it is one of the prizes. Lunch. So if you've joined us, do say good morning. It'll cheer us up on Wednesday. It's kind of not quite the weekend. And no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I wish. It's not even quiet. No, it's just not the weekend. It's just Wednesday and it's grey and drizzly here and... You know, but we need cheering up, so we've got a little bit of a bit of bling on, on yes, our show this morning. Yeah. And it's nice to have a brand out that is maybe not as well known as some others that we have in store. Do you know about Peg Perego? Have you ever heard of Peg Perego? Let us know. Let's see who was fast as fingers first this morning. Kaz Hill, you won this morning. Uh, good morning, Kaz. You were the first one. Good morning, Samantha Pavey and Megan Brothwell and Zoe Briggs and Melissa Creasy and Helena Smith and Andrea Walker. Coming up for air. And Donny Eel says, morning ladies, Abigail Crispino, good morning to you, and to Lucy Ann, and to Hannah McCarthy. I could keep going, couldn't I? Do you know, that some, you know we load our um, lives, um, we premiere them at 8 o'clock on YouTube in the evening. I do know that. Yes. Well, somebody um, commented on our, one of the lives and said, maybe you should edit it and get rid of the 20 minute of hellos at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we like our hellos. <laughs> that people like the bit of chat that yeah, we do. We, is, yeah, we, we, we like chatting with we, you and saying we hello. We do like chatting. They can fast forward to it. They if can. But they want to see if they yes, don't like it. Yes, if you're it. watching later on on YouTube, this is not live, so you can just fast forward. <laughs> if you're watching live on Facebook, tough cookie, you're going to have to watch You, you have to wait. Yes. And just to annoy everybody, I'm going to say, carry on. Good morning, Tanya Gayton. Good morning, Hannah McCarthy. Good. Uh, Kaz Hill can't wait for today's lives. So we better not leave okay. her waiting too long. No, no, no. We will get in. <laughs> Good morning, Vicky. Uh, oh, gosh. Kyle Louise Baker, morning. Hope you ladies are well today. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm all right. I've, just, right. I've got that Wednesday blues, though. Yeah. I, well, I kind of felt like that on Monday, so we can't carry it through till Wednesday. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It was blue week the week before, wasn't it? It's supposed to be when Yeah, January. Depressed. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm, we should be feeling a bit happier now. But I am, I am happy, in fairness. And because I'm not homeschooling, so it's okay. But Claire yeah. Louise Baker is homeschooling and working from home. Hats off to you. You need an, you need a certificate. Yeah, exactly. I'll make you a certificate, okay? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Andrea Kemp. We've got lots and lots of people joining us, so thank you very much. Um, she's oh, Claire is taking a coffee break to watch us. We should have brought our coffee on, shouldn't we? We should, we have, should yeah. have brought our coffee on. But you've been busy training this morning, haven't you? Have. On a marketing course. Yeah. Still smiling? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Interesting. Good, good. Kaz Hill says she's not heard of Peg Perego, but she's very interested. Um, been, they do know they've been around since. I did put this on my post, and now I'm not sure if I'm going to say the year right. Like 1949. A long like time. A long time. A long, long time. Amy Louise Palmer says she watched our video for the Peg Perego Ipsy this morning and thinks oh, yeah. it's very nice. It is, yeah. Um, Rebecca Poynton says she knows Peg Perego is an Italian brand. You can't say Peg Perego, you have to go Peg Perego because it. You never say it like that. No? no. Just me then? <laughs> Just me then. Peg Perego. Just me then. Viaggio. Yeah. I have to say that bit like that. Viaggio, <laughs> yes, we'll do that in a moment. Sarah Elizabeth March says it's Friday, nearly Italian Friday. Accents. It's not nearly Friday, Sarah. It's definitely not nearly Friday. Tomorrow it's nearly Friday. But <laughs> we can say tomorrow, tomorrow. We could, we could. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So, we're going to talk about Peg Perego today. For some of you, we know we are introducing a new brand to you. For other people, it's not going to be a new brand. No. It's not a new brand to us. We've had it in store quite a while now. Yeah. And, and uh, I worked with mamas and papas. Yes, years ago. Previously. Yeah, quite yes, a long time ago. With their car ago. seats um, to use the push chairs. And you'll notice we're actually in the store today. There's a reason we are in the store because... So they in, are going again, I can hear them. Yeah, the studio, they are, I don't know what they're doing, drilling? 
Behind, yeah, behind the office behind. They are just drilling something. making yeah. an awful lot of noise. So we had to. I'm surprised you didn't go around and tell them to Tell shush. them to be quiet. Shush, shush now. Shush now. No, I didn't. So we're in the store today, so you might see people wandering around behind us. Not customers, I'd like to point out, because no. we are closed, but the staff are all still working. Yeah, I can hear so Laura. We, she's over there. Where should we start? Should we start with our price? Because it's a good yes, price today. It's a good price. And yes. I know it's a good price because. Why? Why do you know that, Joe? I know this is a good price because actually yeah. this is mine. Like this, this literally <laughs> is lent mine. It to us today. It's, I have lent it to them. So we're not going to be giving away your price. We're not going to give away your, my, your car seat. No, either. we're not giving away my car seat because otherwise I wouldn't be able to pick my daughter up from school tonight because no. it's going back in my car. Yeah. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I've got this car seat, in fact, I do have a few car seats, but the big reason that I have this car seat is because it is so narrow. Yeah. And we had to get three car seats in the back of the car. And this one worked really, really yeah, well. It's good for that. So this is our price today. Kelly, do you want to tell us a bit about the price? Should we swap sides? Okay, Although on, it then. does make my feng shui go a bit. Mm. Right. I can't cope with being on the other side. And you should be demoing it, as you know it so well. I should be, but I'm not. I'm holding the, I'm, I'm holding the iPad this morning. I can't morning. do anything. I've got the iPad stuck so to my So all hands. you need to do to enter our draw this morning is basically just join in with the chat. Make us feel like we're not here on our own with just a cameraman for company. He's lovely company, don't get me wrong, you know, but ask us any questions you want about the Peg Perego brand or any of the products we're showing you. But we're going to start off with um, one of their high back boosters. Yes. Um, go for it, Kelly. Okay. Go, so, go, go. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I need to go Do you know, I feel happy now. now. I started off feeling a bit glum oh, and really now okay I feel now. happy. Real. Okay, so the, uh, the Peg Perego um, Viaggio 23 Flex car seat. Um, is a really different car seat. It's got quite a few different functions to others. It can be used from 15 to 36 kilos, but obviously we would still advise minimum four years old rather than just because they've reached the 15 kilos and in a high back booster. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? Because people are almost desperate to go on yeah. to the next seat. Yeah. And I think where there are a lot of people who think, right, let's get them into this seat belt as quick as possible. It's mm -hmm. going to make life easier. But that's not always the best thing to do, is no, it? No, because if they're younger, they might be enjoying themselves. They might be climbing out, sitting, leaning forwards. Um, so, yeah, wait until they're about four years old as a minimum. Um, just keep them, max out your previous car seat. For we always say that, don't we? Yeah. Whatever seat it is, max out yeah. the previous seat. Make sure you go up to the height or the weight, depending on what seats and seats you have to look at both. But don't be in a rush to move them no. onto the high back. Booster. I mean, 15 kilos, my son was two and a half. So, you see, and we, legally could have gone in the We seat. had it the opposite way around. My daughter reached that four years old and she wasn't ready yet for a high back booster. She was submarining, the seatbelt wasn't sat nicely on yeah. her. So, it's quite a lot of different things to look out for before you can just say, yes, go in the high back booster. So, let's have a look at this one. Because so once they are old enough. <laughs> to go in this clever, seat. It is uh, yep. really clever to use. So you've got lots of adjustability. Lots of high back boosters don't have a recline, but this does. So you can recline little one if they do still need that for naps in the car. You've got ice fix fitting, which you can use, but you don't have to use. And um, the point of an ice fix fitting on a high back booster is to keep it secure in the car when your child's not in there. The vehicle seat belt does the job the rest of the time. So you you, see that? if you don't want to, you don't have to use it. A lot of people will come into store and say, I've had ice fix. Need ice fix. I yeah. need to have ice fix for my high back booster because it is safer. Yeah. And that's just no. not the case for, mm. with regards to your child. It is safer if your child isn't in the seat yeah. and you haven't got your seatbelt done up. Like what I do, dropping off um, a child at school and then spending 30 minutes driving to work. If that wasn't ice fixed in, I should be should be doing seat your seatbelt up yeah. because if you are in an accident, let's worst case scenario, you roll your car. Mm. That's a big object to be flying that's around be your car. Me in the face, yeah. Yeah, it's the not going to be a pleasant experience. So yes. that's the reason we have ice fix yes. in some of the high back boosters you also have it's not always how we traditionally see isofix isofix is it sometimes they like how can i describe it Isof just on isofix some call it isofix that's it and that's it's the just word. on a piece of webbing so it's this, it's just a hook on a piece of bit, bit of webbing so rather than again securing the child so it doesn't need to be as as solid it's just on a on a hook and it's it just about it it's about keeping 
that seat in place if yeah. there's no child in it. But it's actually your seatbelt that's doing the job once they get into the high back booster yeah, age. Yeah, absolutely. So it's an R44 seat, like I said, 15 to 36 kilos. Um, it's really adjustable. So no matter the size, you can kind of find the right one. It's not really adjustable. It's really, really adjustable. Really adjustable. Really, really adjustable. So double really. The backrest moves up, so you, the um, side impact support follows the um, side of the child to protect them. The headrest moves up to the correct position, so you keep in the seatbelt um, a maximum of two centimetres above their shoulders where the seatbelt comes out. And finally, the width. Look at that. So what actually is a very small, compact car seat does then adjust to fit your older, up to 12-year-old child in and there, or 135 centimetres. It's quite nice. I particularly like the fact that you can adjust this bit because yeah. children are different shapes and sizes, yeah. aren't My they? My son, he's eight and still in a high-back booster, and sometimes when he gets so in, a bit like this. He, does, he does moan about the seat being a little bit tight. But obviously he's in the middle of two other car seats, so he doesn't so have tough. he doesn't tough. have that luxury to have a wider seat. But you can see there, you can keep it in a few different positions. But that's the the, the slimmest and the uh, widest that it. But it also to. means if you've got a skinny mini, you know, if you are in an accident, it's going to keep them nice and secure. Because yeah. in any accident, the whole point of your car seat is. To, well, A, to keep them safe, but to stop them moving. We don't want them rattling around, no. if you like. No. Another really good feature of it that kids will love is these. Cup holders. Cup holders. Life is now complete Again. with cup holders. Yeah. My son in the middle would not be able to use these, but if it, they're just in one side on their My own, daughter, who's usually in the do. back of the car on her own, could use them. She could. She could use she could. them. But I'm a bit mean and won't let her have a drink in the car Another often. thing that is really clever, if you just drop the backrest down slightly, pull this strap, you can then flatten it down. It's even got a little handle on the back. This also does, you can attach this as well so it keeps together. And that's really useful if you are travelling. Let's just pretend we're off travelling. If you're allowed to travel. If yeah. you are allowed to travel because you often get to your destination and get a higher car. Mm -hmm. You oft, often don't take a larger car seat or you, re, you rely on using one of their car seats, which quite mm -hmm. frankly, my experience is that they've they're been a little right. bit rubbish. You don't know what's happened to them. No. It's not necessarily the right one for your child. Um, they could have been in a collision. But so, yeah, that is really small fitting. Um, if grandparents' cars, you know, if they don't want the car seat, they do, they do the school pick up every now and again, but don't want the car seat sat in the car, they can take it out, fold it, put it in the boot. It's not to take up much room. They still can fit the shopping and stuff in. So Gemma Sandler's joined us this morning. Good morning, Gemma. She loves the leather sides. Yep. Uh, yeah, I yeah. have to say, it, it is nice and durable um, and just parent friendly, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get it in red and black as well. Um, Is that Mon Monza? I think yes, it and they also lo everybody's loving the recline because you yeah. do move onto the next stage seat, don't you? Uh, onto your high back boosters, and very rarely do they actually recline. Yeah, so that's now fitted. You just pull this yellow lever. It's like the yellow lorry thing. Um, yellow lever that shoots your ice fix points out to attach, and then you can push it right back to touch, but then you can still recline that to give a bit of adjustability and then your seat belt comes through the red guide if I can see where that fits in where does that slot in oh at the, oh, top. At the top so it's quite nice you see I quite like the black seat because yeah. it goes so well just with the black upholstery of my car but they do do a red one which kind of has a bit of more red on it it's got it's black and red it's called Monza yep and it's got a bit more of a racing, a kind of a racing feel yeah. to it. Um, but everybody's <coughs> loving. Abby McMichin? McMichin? I'm not quite yeah. sure. Sorry, Abby. She says it's awesome that it reclines. There are yeah. very few high back boosters yeah. that recline. The other thing for me was the base of it, where you're doing up, is nice and narrow. And I have. But well, it's quite open as well. There's no little. It's some easy. have a little armrest, don't they, which the belt needs to go underneath, but that can then make it a little bit more difficult for the child to fasten themselves in, whereas that's quite up and they've got great visibility of the buckle. And even my daughter is five and a half and she's not very good, she can't plug it in very well, she struggles with that. So when I'm 
leaning over it's really easy and really really well. visible yeah. you know yeah. I'm bottom in the air it's raining mm. I'm on yep. the school run we're late and all you're that right and because it's a bit narrow you've not got as far to reach no. it sits quite nicely in the seat so it does for me it works incredibly well and the fact that it is narrow if you've got more than one seat in yeah. the back or a small car because we've got a small car yeah you do now we do, you we do big have cars, our car, we used to have two big cars and now our car is like that big. <laughs> you could fit our new car in the boot of the old car, yeah. but we do have a small car, so it does give us a little bit more room in the back. So it's also the back, um, the back rest of this car seat is aluminium reinforced, so it's super strong. Yeah. Um, but then obviously flexible to offer that side impact protection um, and it's nice deeply um, rounded on the headrest as well to keep the head where you need it to be. Lucy Ann says it looks comfy. Yeah, well, Florence, our t yeah, chief tester for this seat, really, hasn't complained yet. No, so it's really padded everywhere. So, um, Melissa Creasy says she finds Isofix, e Isofix, Isofix. Isofix easier to fit and swap in cars. Mandy Stevens also says she prefers um, the Isofix. So does Tanya Gayton. I think when you're high back booster, it is just that knowledge that if you are in an accident, there's no child in it, the seat's not going yeah. to fly about. And if you're using it in somebody else's car, you're using it in a van that maybe doesn't have Isofix or in grandparents' cars that maybe doesn't, you've got that flexibility. Yeah, exactly. It will fit, no matter what. Um, but everybody's giving thumbs up for Isofix. Yeah. Andrea Kemp describes it as a transformer. It is, a little it, bit. Yes. My son's got some like dinosaurs that turn into cars and stuff. It's kind of like that, how it like. Does it turn so into we need to rename it. So we're going to rename it. It's actually called the Peg Perego. Viaggio 2-3 Flex. Flex 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Two, two, three three flex. flex. But we're going to rename it Transformer. Peg Perego Transformer. Because that's much easier. Yeah, much that. easier. Much, much easier. If you're so, watching, guys, that's yeah, your new name. That's your new name. We've renamed. We, we often rename things, don't mm -hmm. we? we? We've called Pusher Sherlock Holmes and all kinds of yeah, things. Good. So Peg Perego is not just about car seats. No. And in fact, people probably know them better maybe for their pushchairs. Yeah. Their high chair. Um, this high chair is... Uh, featured in a lot of lives. They, baby Perfect. David loves this high yeah. chair, so he keeps Pink coming out. Suits him. Um, they also do some toys, don't they? They do some amazing toys. They do. Yeah. They do. And I will say, I did tell her I was going to do this. I'd give a shout out to Sarah because she's very excited. Her, Shh, what if somebody's colleague. watching? Yeah, don't tell. Don't tell the little boy it's for. But she's just ordered him um, a very nice quad. Yeah, it's really, really From cool. From Perego. And we've got a pe we've got Perego tractor at mm -hmm. home with the trailer on. Yeah. And we've had it out in the snow. Really? Even, yeah. Yes, so. And we've got a big ride on lawnmower as well. And it's a bit filthy. Not it's from Peg Perego. Not from Peg Perego, no, <laughs> no, no. But my older child was driving that and our little Peg Perego tractor was actually was doing good. better because yeah. it wasn't quite so heavy. So we've got the Peg Perego tractor with the trailer. She loves it. Mm. In fact, the boys love it as well. We used to have a gator. So like a two-seater yeah. gator. Amazing stuff. Really, train, really cool. They do a train. They do, do a train. Yeah. Yes. And they do a Vespa, a little mm. motorbike Vespa. Yeah. And even matching helmet. That yeah. is really, really cool. Yeah. No. Anyway, we digress because we're, we're... But we've not got any of those out today, I'm we've afraid. Not we got can't those have out, a ride round. But we do. We can get them and they are available on the website. Yeah. So our price today is our Peg Perego Viaggio so 23 Flex. Our, our customers, audience that have older children or you could put it away for your put it away child, yeah, yeah. We, we know that all children are going to end up in a high yeah. back booster so even if your Same child way, is it? a little bit younger it's still going to work yeah. um all you need to do is join in with the chat this morning yep. every day we go live 11 around about 11 o'clock every day we have a prize i have to say she's a good one today is. she is a good yeah. one it is it is one of the more expensive high back boosters as well yes but it has a lot more functions and features than you would see in a standard hard business. Exactly. And it is comfortable. Have you got I don't actually know the price of it. It's I the have got the price of it. I have, I have, I have. I've got it here. Um it is hang on. Bear with, bear with. It is hundred and ninety pounds yeah. RRP. Hundred and ninety pounds RRP. Yeah. I was gonna say it's about two hundred pounds. So what sh what should we have a look at? Should now? we go for Do high chair go? or push chair? Let's go for a push, push chair. chair. So this is the book. This is the Peg Perego book 51S. 51S. Again, names and numbers. Names and numbers, guys. Come on, brands. Come on, this is confusing, <laughs> okay? This is confusing for everybody. Let's just call it, I, I know why it's, I know yeah. why it's the 51 book. Fold. Yeah. But, but it does get confusing. But this is the Peg Perego book. If you're interested and want to message, if you want to call it the Peg Perego grey one, we'll know exactly what we, we mean. We will know. 
Yeah, so the curry cot has got a bit more traditional styling, um, but still lovely, a lovely size, and it's very clever, this one. It is a bit like a high back beaster. Yeah, got it's, more extra features, hidden features. It's yeah. got like extra talent. Yeah, it does. So I'll just show you quickly inside the curry cot. So you've got your little Velcro bits there, push the canopy in, and your poppers there keep your apron in place. If I take that off, you can see it's a nice. Got, uh, let me just lower that because that's another little feature that is oh really you nice. let them see the feature before we go oh, no, to it I thought it was flat, oh, flat the other Kelly. one but not this one so you carry cut in here a lovely size really nice soft lined and this all zips out as well for washing then there's a little strap just at the back here hidden under here if you if you watch from inside Jose because you'll see it <laughs> He's looking at the wrong bit. Oh, I'm going to pull here. Keep her. But if you pull the strap and just pop it on the little toggle. Look at that. You've then got a side, you've got a lovely headrest um, cover there as well. But it, you have got then a bit of an incline. Really useful if you've got a, re, a yeah. reflex, 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 Re baby, <laughs> reflex baby, baby, colicky baby. Yeah. Or they've just got the sniffles and they're full of cold. Yeah. Or when they're getting a bit older. Mindset. And they're getting a bit yeah. nosy and they want to sit up a little and bit. And you've got three different options. So you just pop it onto that and it will then go back flat. So really clever. We were talking Idea. about these yesterday. That like we had three push chairs yeah. with what we call the reflux lift on the colic lift. Push chairs, and they? we were talking about it and saying, why doesn't everybody do it? But some do. Yep. But I also think there's some people who don't know whether their push chair does it. So yeah, just so have a look. Have, have a look. Have a look. Throw at the back. Have a look. So you've got lots of aeration. Aeration? Ventilation. Ventilation yeah. in the back by lifting It's Wednesday, that up. Kelly. It's Wednesday. If you do a summer baby, you've also got a little pocket there as well. What would you put in there? You could put your keys in there if you were going for a little walk. Do you know what I'd keep in there? What? Most people who join, you obviously don't listen to our lives or anything I say. I always think if you've got a little pocket, put a spare nappy and some wipes in it because then if you run out, you've always got some. Yeah, you can do that. But it's nice having that just extra feature. Normally, that's just obviously your material, but you yeah. have got your extra feature there. Yeah, you do. And then that just slips through there. Nikki Harris has joined us this morning. She that's says, never seen a pram or carry cot with a tilt option like this. How handy. Well, haven't you? It is. It is really, really handy. And yeah. I don't get... Why lots and lots of people is it the don't lay flat thing? I, is yeah, it, I is think, it because yeah. the advice is to lay them flat, so they think by doing that, people may use that a little bit too much and not keep them completely. But flat, also, maybe. if you have got a colicky, reflexy baby, people are then tempted to put them in their car seat all day, aren't yeah. they? Because or, they're a little bit into upright. The seat unit too so soon. I think it is yeah. quite nice to have that um, that option. Yep. So a few people asking about car seats. Don't panic about the car seats. We're going to come to the car seats. Don't well, panic. We will come to the car seats. Um, your bag, your matching bag that you can get with this one just clips onto your little hooks here that then spin out the way, so that's nice. Now the really I'm going to model the bag. I know, oh, you, okay. I know you're rushing forward to get this little well, party trick, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. It's you, my favourite bit. Uh, Kelly's favourite bit, favourite bit of life is the party trick of yeah. the book. The adjustable handlebar, so it goes quite high. And and most, of got, well. most of them have got adjustable handlebars. Move on to the trick, because this right, is cool. Right. This is really cool. I thought you were going to talk about the bag. Okay, right, the bag, it's a bag. Now move on to that. Right, okay. We'll come back so, to the bag, okay? Hidden under here, if you squeeze, let me put the brake on, that might be easier. It's like a little secret. We're telling you a secret, everybody. It's a secret. You push that to the middle, and then do the same at the back. This is why it's called the pop-up carry cart. It Look falls completely that. flat, so great for storage in the car, or it's also great if you reach under here for the fold. Oh, I've yeah. not quite hit the lock. Look at that. How many push chairs? Push, push, push chairs? You can't talk today, I can can't, you? No. How many push chairs? can fold with the carry cot on. I know. And there's not even the fact that you can collapse it down. There's not many carry cots that you can do that easily to. No. Yes, you can take out all the rods the bars, and, yeah. and the bars, and but it would be a faff, you know, if yeah. it's raining, you're really not going to want to do that. You, the Strada does something similar, doesn't it? The Acaro, mm -hmm. uh, not the, the Mamas and Papas <laughs> Strada. I'm really not good at my words today. Not good at my words. 
but that works incredibly yeah. well. And obviously it does stick out a little bit more, but you can also then do it with your seat unit on as well. So Or just take it all off. Or just take it all off. Or just take it all off, but that really, lock. really is its party trick. It is a party trick. We like that. Pull your handle back up, back into place, and then... You don't want to put your baby in like that. Put your hand, uh, your hood up. And it pops up. Pop. Do you know, they, they ought to put that in the name of the carry cart, shouldn't they? The fact it they pops do. up. I know they do. Oh. <laughs> so come on, Jo. I just said that's come what it's on, called. Come on, Jo. Yes. Yeah. Um, you've also got on your wheels, rather than having to mess about with your front wheels, if you need to lock it for rougher terrain, just spin your dial around and you're in and a straight And again, line you're not going to get muddy fingers. No. She's a clever little beast. Very clever. You've also got a drop-down basket, so you can keep that down while you're loading it up, but then just pop it back up to make sure things aren't going to fall out. I think it's, yeah, I just think it's very, very clever and something that if you aren't sure where to start with your push chair, Jenny, it's a really good one to look at. And the other thing is, it has all these clever features, you know, which work really well, but if you just walk on by past the push chair, no, oh, don't sorry. walk on by. <laughs> But you don't know, so you have to no, delve deeper into yeah. push chairs. That's, because... that's why it's such an important thing for people to, when they can, come into store to see us or have a video consultation so we can show you all the features. Because I don't, you wouldn't know that. No, you no, no, by looking at you it. You wouldn't know that through looking at it. No. Know, there's no big arrows that go, hoi, guess what this does. No. But it is really, really clever. It so is. we're looking at the peg, some of our peg parego that we have in store today. We're giving away... Would that you buy? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are giving away um, one of the high back boosters. It is the Peg Perego Viaggio 23 Flexi. I cannot Ooh, say. That Peg rolled Perego. off the tongue there. Peg Perego Viaggio 23 Flex. So anybody <laughs> Italian, I really, really apologise if you are watching. <laughs> With really, lots of really clever, clever seat. If you are expecting or have got a young child and you think, that's, I don't need that yet, you're going to need it one day. So make sure you enter our competition. All you need to do to enter is just join in with the chat and keep us company so we don't have to just talk to each other, yep. which is awesome. So Lisa Clark is loving the Peg Perego book, yep. 51S, yes, yes. the grey book. Yep. <laughs> now, what about when... Caricot's going to last round about six months, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. Safety tested to nine kilograms. Yep. You're going to then move on to your seat unit. You are, and I was just looking then because although I've reviewed this push chair, I can't remember how to get the caricot off. <laughs> Shall we leave her? Shall we leave her? Can you remember? Shall we leave her? Please Shall we help leave me, her? <laughs> I'm giving you a clue. I'm giving you a clue. So I'm just going to run through the prices of your book. So the RRP for your book um, is your changing remember. bag is £66.50. In fact, I'm going to show you the changing bag. So can our cameraman come a little bit closer? So your changing bag, as we've said, it can hang directly onto your push chair. You've got two little bits here. Squeezy bits. I did it. I know. Well done. <laughs> Squeezy bits here. Um, and you've also got your carry handle here, which can obviously go over your shoulder or you can use it a more of a traditional handbag. The one of the nicest features about this is it is so well padded and incredibly lightweight. So you can see here the padding on this is quite substantial and is quite thick, but it is a very, very lightweight uh, changing bag and once you've got all your stuff in it they become really heavy you've also got your changing mat again it's not your thin normal changing mat it's, it's an actual got, mattress isn't it, it is like an actual changing, changing mat as opposed yeah. to like a changing sheet that you get with most bags yeah so we really really like those features you've got your usual pockets inside as well we love a pocket we do i love a pocket and your pocket on the outside too Baby asleep? Baby's I should give asleep. you baby David, shouldn't I? So once you've got your seat unit on, it is a lay flat seat unit. 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 Um, can parent face. Got a huge, look how big that extendable hood is. It's all the way She's from there. She's a big one. Right, so. But when you haven't got it extended, it's nice because it all zips away and stays yeah, nice, nice and, and tidy. tidy. Now what would Kirsty say if she was with us? No flabby fabrics. No flabby fabrics. Probably. Uh, Tanya Gayton says, sorry to interrupt, prams and pushchairs have progressed massively over the years and are very impressive. 
but compact and comfortable for newborn baby. Yeah. Yeah, they are a lot more comfortable than they used to be. Your bumper bar is gate opening, a little bit different to how it works than other ones because it kind of comes forward rather than up or across. And you've got your protection over your bumper bar, haven't you? So if you've got a little one yep. who likes to chew. give it a bit of a chew or a bit of a dribble, um, you know, it is nice and wipeable as well. You've got an apron that you can just then pop her into place as well. But looking at the seat unit, it's a nice size, goes up to 22 kilos. Adjustable footrest, so you can either have Maria that. Runoff just asked you what weight that goes up to. Oh, you, you were yeah, ahead. You were ahead of. Timing. I think it was the same time there. You can either have that up or down, and then also have that in a more. Oh, I'm too far away to do it. A more upright. Veronica soon well. at, at Ankinson Baker. We're still waiting for you, Veronica, to, to change your name. We we mention this quite regularly in her life. That um, as well. Has said she loves how far the hood comes down. Yeah. We've got buttons here to then spin your seat round. Keeping our cameraman on his toes there. He had, to, he had to move like really, really quickly. Yes, it does come in quite a few different colours. Um, we've we've. We've kind of gone for your more traditional grey, haven't we, with yes. the book? And in a moment, we're going to show you the Paper Ego Ipsy <coughs> in our monomore with a... That is really, really different. And again, you can fold this with your seat unit on. Put that into the lower position. Grab your handle. And again, it will freestand. I like the fact it freestands. Imagine you've gone to a restaurant, you can fold it with your seat unit on or your carry cot on. Yep. You haven't got lots of bits for people to uh, trip over. No. So we've got um, uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of people asking um, questions there. Somebody's asked, where is the cup holder? Don't worry, you can buy a cup holder separately, okay? Don't panic about our cup holders. Those of you who join us regularly know we have a little panic every single live about a cup holder. They've got a car seat with a cup holder as well. Yeah. I mean, come on, guys, this is good. This is good. Shannon says it's quite a big changing bag as well, which is perfect. I like yep. the fact your apron comes with it as well. So those of you who don't know, your apron... I don't know where I'm going there. I was going, to, like, I was going over to Jose. <laughs> <laughs> See, Jose, let me go and film. <laughs> Let's swap, Jose, come on. Right, we'll, yeah, we'll get Jose on camera and you can go and film. You can go and film. If you're not sure, when you're reading any descriptions, um, your apron doesn't have a back on it, so it's like a chef's apron. A foot muff is more like a sleeping bag, so it goes all the way up the back, and your foot muffs are generally quite a bit warmer and a lot more snug. But your apron is going to protect yeah. them from the um, elements. Shall we some things in there as well? Shall we have a look at the car seat that we've got yes. matching? Because it's so clever, because you don't need your adapters to pop it on your seat. It just sits on the chassis of your... Um, it sits on there. Yeah. So this is the premium... Premi it's because you've not got an Italian accent today, Kelly. Peg Perego. Peg Perego. Viaggio. And this is the R44 seat. So it's not your i size seat, but you can upgrade to the Prima Viaggio i size car seat, which does also have really good um, test scores for the ADAC. It's a 1.6. Stop so jumping nice onto score. this one. We'll, we'll jump I know, onto that I one. I know, in a but we always say that if budget allows, always go for an i size seat. So we this do. Is, this is um, a good seat as well. But then just upgraded, you can go to the It's kind of safe, safer, isn't it? That's yeah. how we tend to describe it. Yeah, lovely newborn insert. And you can use this um, with the same base and then take your next stage seat, which is the Viaggio Duo Fix, which is your Group 1, 9 to 18 kilo seat. And then when you've outgrown that, obviously they can <coughs> hide our boosters, don't they? To which is our price today that you're hiding. But never Absolutely. mind, we'll come back to I'm it. I'm just using it as a little seat for me right now. Do you want me to put this on? Is that what you're telling me? No, it's fine. If you want to put it on, you can do. Do you want me to hold it? Thank you for a drop it. So generally, lots of people ask about inserts. So you'll always have the instructions on your car seats, when to take your inserts out. Generally, they are round about 60 centimetres. Now, 60 centimetres, it depends on your child because all children are different. It's generally round about four-ish months isn't it Kelly it, yeah it's it, it just Plus depends months, it? on the uh the size of your child yeah. we just need them to be in the right position again if you've got any questions about car seats whether you bought your car seat from us <coughs> or not it doesn't matter just get in touch we can get one of our specialists to look send some photographs in you know we will have a look answer any car seat questions I like the fact you don't need adapters yes, to put I it do. on it just 
you just plonk and go. Just plonk on because you probably saw before. Not your first child. You got, don't plonk your first child. Um, a frame that you sit in, you see, you carry cot or you car seat onto. So, because that is all there built into the chassis, that's what takes it. You don't lose an adapter. No. You don't leave one in the boot of your car. Your toddler doesn't walk off with no. one of them. No. You know, it just does what it needs to do, it does. doesn't it? You may be thinking as well, oh, it can't be fitted with um, belt because there's no belt guides, but. What you have to do, when you're fitting it in the car to belt fit it, you have to move it into the most forward position and your belt guides are then created from your handle. See, again, clever. it's clever and it's kind of, not a trick, but it's not necessarily obvious if you've no. not read it. No. I mean, obviously all your instructions are on the side of your seat as well, yeah. but it is clever. The other thing that makes it very clever is because on this seat, if you're going to belt it in, your handle needs to be forwards. Mm. You cannot fit your seat with the handle in the incorrect position. No, that's right. Um, and, and then just a squeeze a button at the back to take it back off again. Clever, clever, clever. Oh, so yeah. we've had a look at the book. This one also rocks as well. The caricot didn't say that. It rocks on the floor. If it you does. Want and it you can use it for occasional overnight sleeping you can. as well. So we've had a look at the um, book today with its amazing caricot. Magic features. Magic features of the carry cot. Those of you who have just joined us, we are looking at some of the Peg Perego uh, products today. Peg Perego is an Italian brand. She's getting rid of me. We're swapping. I feel better now. I feel back at home now. Um, and we have got an amazing prize for you today. It is the Peg Perego Vagio 23 Flex car seat, um, which you can see here. It's a nice, narrow base car seat. For those of you who've got to fit two... Um, at three seats across the back of your car or you've got adults in the car or older children it is nice and narrow in fact I've got the tape measure there Can, I'm just going to borrow the tape measure you see so again is. if you've got to know the dimensions of any product we have a tape measure so we can always measure it's it often lost it's often <laughs> lost it may take us a few minutes to find it but we also know that Kirsty has her very own tape measure, in doesn't she? In her pencil case. In yes. her pencil case, so which she then that. hides yeah. and takes home when she's not here. Mm -hmm. I don't she... blame her, to be fair. No, because mm. they do go walkabouts, don't they? they? Do. But yeah, she does like her tape measure. It's, it's really nice one, actually. It's got eye candy written on it. But we've got our good old builder's, builders. <laughs> tape measure, but it does its job. And it's nice and big. Nobody can put it in their pocket. But if you put it across here to measure, you can see that if I just give a little bit just for wiggle room, we are about 35 and a half centimetres. So nice and narrow. So it will sometimes fit in that middle seat as well for people, depending yeah. on your seats. Because fitting yeah. more than one seat in your car is quite tricky. I have three, three children in car seats on the back seat. I have one in car seat now. I know. I have one in a car seat, children. but we've still got the same problem because you can imagine a 14 year old Who's bigger than me? Mm. You know, still got. You need space needs to put space. a person, whether in the car yeah, seat or not. Yeah, he needs bum space. To be yeah. fair, so it works very well for us and our family. Right, we've had a look at. Um, if anybody's asking prices as well, the book fifty one S for so the push chair, the carry cot, and the car seat, um, it's nine hundred and fifty pounds. So good bundle, yeah. good bundle, but clever, clever product. Clever so yeah. what should we, should we have a look should at? Should we go to the Follow me. Those of you who've joined us for more lives know that if we had to do a race around a track with a high chair, this would be our high chair of choice because it's got four wheels. Lots of high chairs have only got two. So you have to tip it? To Not it? this one, look. No. David doesn't need to get seasick. It no. has four wheels. So this is our high chair of choice if there is a high chair race going on. And it was my high chair of choice because it, I had it in you orange. You did, in orange, bright orange. Bright orange, and I loved it. You didn't lose it because it was so bright. Yeah. You see it. Where is that in the kitchen? Where oh, has where's it my gone? High chair gone? <laughs> oh, there it is, gleaming. And now my friend's little boy Arthur has it. So that's nice to still that see. That is nice to see. Yeah. Um, so the nice thing about this is it does have a full God, recline. We just moved him by his head. <gasps> <laughs> the scariest child in the world. I'm just going to take him out a little minute just so you can see because it's not just the backrest that reclines. You can see the bottom actually changes shape and pushes out as well when it's reclined, so it's a nice ergonomic from birth position for little ones to still join you at the table. Obviously, you would harness your own child in, but baby David is incredibly well behaved and yeah, hasn't fallen out of one yet. He doesn't jump out, he's a good boy. Look, he's always smiling. 
always smiling. Those people who are new to our lives will know that baby David features more on our lives than Kelly. He does. does. I think so. Oh, my God. Yeah. He doesn't talk very much, though. No. You can adjust your position. So if you've got a little chubber that needs a bit more room, you can move your tray out to give him a bit more space. Chubber? Chubber. Like my bubba. Um, this is removable. I also found this and gave this to Sam the other day because I obviously never used it. <laughs> <laughs> I did like having the big space, though, so you can put all this stuff on. But this has got different compartments, one for your drink, and then you can just chuck that in the dishwasher. <sighs> Place it gently in the dishwasher. Now, Georgia doesn't have a dishwasher. So when oh we were God. doing, we were doing a live about this How a she few live? weeks ago, and she, she kept saying, it can also go in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It can also go in the sink, <laughs> but it will also go in the dishwasher. It so it's, yeah. it is nice and practical. I can't even keep up with my dishwasher washing. Never mind if I had to wash no, it on my hand. No, no. Um, you have got brakes on each wheel, so you just pop those down to stop them wheeling away as you're trying to give or them a their lunch. Or simply going for races or, yeah, around the kitchen. Or, yeah, taking them round. Um, obviously, you can move, remove your tray completely. And you've got a little... Bit here. I like high chairs with this. Yeah, it just stops them slipping so down, doesn't it? When they're like six months and first going in them, it's nice to have not a little bit more down. support. And your adjustable leg rest as well. So wherever they need it for how big they are. You can then push them up to the table if you want because it is high adjustable. It's not supposed to do with your child in there, are you? No. So you've got buttons that push you all Emily the way down Emily Rachel there. says it's a perfect removable tray as long as you don't lose it. Yeah, which I think is probably what I did. I probably put it somewhere safe. safe. And then we found, but you found it again. Yeah. Tracy Beanie says, or Beanie, I'm not sure. She says she's got a husband positions. instead of a dishwasher. Yeah. So I'm lucky I have both. A husband and a dishwasher. I have to say the dishwasher is better at cleaning the pots. Yeah. Sorry if you're watching husband, but never mind. This also then can clip on the back so it folds up to get it all out the way. Excuse me baby David, have a little lay down there. He's not complaining. Press your buttons on this are gold, but they're not on all of them. And then it stands up right. You can also fold it with your tray in place. Sorry, I'm right in front of the camera there, that's not helpful. By pushing it in here and tilting it up. I like that because you often, you can fold it and put it on the back, can't you? Yeah, just had it on the back, but yeah. But you don't, you don't necessarily need to take it off. You have to take it off, way. you just have to but squeeze your button. You know, there's a real theme going on rotate. here. What? A real theme with our Peg Perego thing. Oh, no, I can't believe it. That they all have like a bit of a hidden feature, a yeah. hidden bit of cleverness. Now, we I'm did have a down. question earlier um, about the book and whether it came stuck. in the... Um, Monomore design, which is our design yep. that we've got over here. Yes, it does. It's got slightly different features, but yes, it does. It does come in a variety of colours. Now, while we've got the tray off, one of the things I really like about this high chair mm -hmm. is the um, leatherette feel to it. It's yeah. just wipeable and really, really practical. So although, and it also comes off, so you can take it off for clean as well and get in all those crevices. Uh, although this one is it's kind of a cream it's not it's not quite bright white is it more no. of a, a creamy color it's more of a cream to go pink you can get the i mean they do a black one don't they they do you had an orange one they yep. do a bright green one so there's lots and lots of op options for your high chair just like the push chair there are lots and lots of options i think our winner when we gave away one of these she went for licorice which is their she black. did yeah she did she did indeed so, um, yes, Veronica, it does come in lots of different colours. We've got the Monomore here because you can't have your pink per or Monomore. It kind of just rolls off your tongue. <laughs> Kelly's frowning at me going, yes, mad lady. Yes, of course it does. And it matches, obviously, it the Monomore. It does match in our the shirt Ipsy we've got as well. As well. Yeah. So this is the Peg Perego Prima Papa Follow Me. We've also looked at the Peg Perego um, book. Uh, we have also looked at the Peg Perego Viaggio two three flex um which is a very very clever high back booster we will show you this again at the end because it, it is just really really clever it's also my high back booster like this is actually my high back booster so i can genuinely say it is really really good because we use it every day on the school room you can win one of these today all you need to do is join in with the chat ask us any questions about the products about Perego, anything you like and we will do our very very best to answer them 
Have you heard about Peg Perego? I asked the question at the beginning. Quite a lot of people hadn't heard about Peg Perego. If you hadn't heard about it, what do you think? You know, we've looked. They just have clever features, don't they? It's just a really, really clever brand. Yeah, they've just kind of gone one further with the thought of what parents might need from the products. Yeah. So, Ipsy. Ipsy is the little, little baby sister of the book 51S. So it's small, it's really narrow at 51 centimetres, so you should be able to get through any shop doorways, aisles, um, in and out your house. And that's why it's called 51. I'm talking about yeah. this, Ipsy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that's not called 51. Ipsy. <laughs> but yes, also the same goes for the book 51S. I'll, I'll keep this one still so we can concentrate okay. on Ipsy. Okay. I do like Ipsy. So this is in the Monomore. But yes. it does come in a variety of different colours as well. Polo is one. Looks, Mirage yeah. looks. So you've got grey, you've got blue. Um, one or more though. I, I, I do. It's nice. It's, it's, it's almost pink, but it's not quite It's pink. kind of a blush, isn't it? It's yeah, like blush is better, yeah. Blush, yeah. Pinot Grigio. That's what it is. It's Pinot Grigio. There we go. It, it's, and I also think that it looks so much nicer in the flesh yeah, than in pictures. Than in the pictures. Yeah. The pictures don't That's necessarily plastic, do it justice. It? No. So uh, the fabrics are kind of... Um, see, that's a unisex colour anyway, isn't it? It's, it is. It's just you. I do think we sell more for people expecting a girl, though. Yeah, yeah, true. It tends to be the grey for the boys. Matching bag, um, carry cot. Again, you've got the same features with your Velcro little bits that you've got on your book. They're loving the colour of this for a girl. Really, Abby says the colours yeah, are gorgeous. Hannah McCarthy, love the colour again. Veronica says the colour is stunning for a girl. Mm. Um, Emily, Rachel describes it as a blush pink. But they're definitely, definitely getting the thumbs up. Ruth yeah. Tripp has Same joined side. us this morning. She says she's sure she had a toy car passed down made by them quite yeah. a few years ago. Yes, yeah. this is a really, really established Italian brand. Really established. They're probably more well known for their the toys in this yeah. country, probably. I, I think I, I yeah, but I think the push chairs and car seats are getting there. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. getting lots of hearts for this colour. Um Amy I'm not even gonna I'm gonna try and pronounce your name. Amy Ram Ramsky Koski? Ramskikowski, something like that. Sorry, Amy. She says she loves our videos. They keep us mummies going. Oh, they good. keep us going as well. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Not that we haven't got plenty to do anyway, but it's not. Beth nice Blaylock on. says, is the handle adjustable? See what I did there? Yes, very adjustable. Yeah, yeah so it's, that's quite a low position, and then that's quite a high position. Veronica, we'll run some, through some prices for you in just a moment. Hannah says, maybe not for a boy due in April, but she'd 100% go for this if she was having a girl. They do other colours. They do other colours. Yeah. So if the colour is not for you, then we get that. There are other colours. Um, Beth asks what brand this is. This is Peg Perego. Everything, All Peg Perego. Everything is Peg Perego apart from Kelly and I this morning. We're not Italian. We are As not you know, Italian. Beth, I, would you like to be Italian? Italians dress beautifully, don't they? Yeah, they do. Mm. Yeah, we've got a way to go on that one. We've got a way to go. Maybe we could get the Italians to design a new uniform for mm. us. If you're watching. If you're watching. Any Italian designers out there, design us a new uniform. So we looked at the, cle the cleverness that is the book, Carrie Cott. Yes. But the Ipsy has some cleverness it's as well. It's the same. So you can put, you've only got two positions on this one rather than three on your book but that does then give you a bit of adjustment on your backrest so you can pull that into the position you want it for little one and then really easy to remove you just pull your handle up at the back and lift away nice and easy you've not got to lean over and do two no. buttons one button then the other it's just lift and go yep um, brake is the same so you've got either side and you can fold it with or without the seat unit on. You just squeeze and it will free stand. It doesn't get much easier than that, does it? You can fold it with one hand. And I, again, I like the fact that it free stands. Yep. We do like a free stand, don't we? We do. And then we back do, we do, we do. Anybody got any questions about our Ipsy? This is our Ipsy um, that we're looking at. We're going straight to the car seat there. And moved on. Again, yeah. no adapters. Well, there is. But they're in the car seat, and once you put them in, you're not really going to take them out again because you kind of have to 
find the button to get, remove okay. it, it's under the fabric. So they are, but they are included, and once they're in, they're in. So there you go. There we go. Everybody, Judy Scoot says it's simple and easy. Okay. Hannah McCarthy says clever again. Amy's loving the frame. Um, Hayley says, why don't all prams uh, do that? And Melissa Creasy says, it looks easy to fold down. Scale of 1 to 10, how easy is it to fold without anything on? 10 being the easiest? Yes. Probably 10. 10, yep. So this is your um, Prima Viaggio i-size car seat. Like I said, this is the one that's got the really good scores on the ADAC testing and the Stiftung Warren test. I can't speak German. Um, and the OMTC, yeah, everything. It's passed everything across the board with really good testing results. So it's nice to know you've got an ultra safe car seat. Side impact um, just twizzles out on the side of this is obviously only pushchair. You don't need it out, but um, on the side door side. Nice thing about this one, if you are using it on your pushchair chassis, the hood pulls really far down to protect them. From or them. if it's sunny in the car. Yes, as well. It, pull down. it is a nice extendable, extendable. Hood. and it's, it's nice because actually you wouldn't forget because it says on the side extendable. extendable. It's designed for people it also with almost got mummy brain. brain. Mummy brain, you Come see. On. It is designed for that. Now, That's what Maxi Cozy needs to say. It's in here. It's in here. My yeah, hood's in here. here. <laughs> but no, we we're not going to lose the hood with the peg. Here we go. The other thing, I mean, you've just touched on it briefly about the added testing that that car seat has mm. had. It's not just had the added testing. It's flown through them, hasn't yeah. it? So 1.6 um, across the mall, is it? Yeah, and a four star. Yeah, so really good um, testing results. And you can use it from birth up to 83 centimetres. So it, it is a nice spacious seat, so yeah. going to give you that longevity. And as we said at the beginning, don't be in a rush to move your child to the next stage seat. And just like um, the car seat that we looked at earlier, you have got the option to isofix it in or seat belt it in, haven't you? Yeah, you do. And a, a newborn insert. And again, if you want to belt fit it, you move this down into a lower position so you can put your seat belt routing across there. It's a nice shape car seat. Yeah, and I know people, you shouldn't say it's a pretty seat because what is really, really important... It's not important, is it? But it you, how a seat looks is not important. The, no. the only thing that is important with a car seat is how safe it is. Mm. But if we've got a seat that looks nice as well, that's yeah, definitely it a bonus, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. And you can, they also do the lounge, yes, which is their lay reclining car seat. So it's quite similar to how this is, but your backrest um, drops down as well. So you can also use that. What I like about this seat is that lots of brands put in seats with their bundles that are not crap car seats. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that, but no, no. not great. Not great. Where's that seat? is really good yeah it is really really good so well done peg Perego. you're definitely getting a thumbs up from us for that seat. definitely so this is um memory oh, yeah. button release as well so you've got one and two so one that side one that side and then lift so, so as long as you can count to two you're okay yeah one first two second and then two and lift thank away. you everybody who is sharing this morning if you shared this morning do tell us so that we can say thank you we also um uh, can see because it says share us so thank you very much um, we are giving away um, our Peg Perego Viaggio 23 Flex Kaibak Booster car seat here. Awesome car seat. Great for those of you who are travelling, and we'll show you why at the end if you missed it at the beginning. It's a great seat to take away with you. It's also a great seat if you've got your back seat is full of stuff, whether it is stuff, whether it is older children in a car seat or adults in there, because it's a nice, narrow base. Meanwhile... Back to oh, our Peg got... Perego Ipsy. I forgot we've still got this in. Oh, we've... <gasps> cheating with another cheating. brand in there. Oh, oh. So it doesn't come, doesn't with, come this with this fleece liner. liner, but it <clears> works <throat> really well. The yeah. Egg original fleece liners work superbly well in the Ipsy. Mm -hmm. So we do put them in different push chairs from time to time to yeah, show you that show. it works nice really, fit. really well. You get this apron. It's a little bit different to others because it actually it completely encases the seat. So it's nice that it works well with um, that liner you button for your bumper bars on the inside and then you can have that open just to get baby in and out or if it gets a bit warm or you're going into oh, yeah, a shop and we're allowed little bit. to go into shops and they'll again stick the legs out they top. can stick the legs out and they can go a bit cooler if you go back outside it's freezing cold zip them up yeah recline and another extendable hood, which Peg Craig are obviously very good at they are very good at extendable hoods I love 
the little bit of, I like the rose gold detailing. Yeah. It's actually still on the zip as well. <coughs> yeah, it's it not is. just a plain zip. Yep. They've taken that all the way through. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you can have it facing the other way as well. So to remove it, squeeze your buttons. Andrea Kemp says, I love your lives on a Wednesday. I was going to say, why not the other days? It's her day off. <laughs> so I was going to say, <laughs> only Wednesday. Wednesdays. We're not very good on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. I'll, okay, that's fine. I love your lives on a Wednesday. It's my day off from work, so she gets to watch it live. And this is by far one of her favourite brands. Ah, ah, you see? That's good. Yeah, you're allowed to be. Yep, yeah, you, can, you can have a lot of love for Peg. We've got a lot of love for Peg yep. Perego. So you can also fold this with your seat unit on. What you need to do is fold your... Where is it? These Sophie it's Walsh here. has just oh, said... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry, right, I lost the bit. I, it's here. I did, uh, didn't they do a John Deere Gator battery-powered car? Yes! Yes, they're really good as well. I think I might stop selling prams. We'll just have a toy shop. How do you fancy that? Yeah, I don't mind that. We'll do that. So, and again, she self-stands. You've got a little handle on the back there where you can lift up your frame. It's really light. It is light, yeah. Or you can fold it without your um, seat unit. Can I think of the word then? I've already folded it without the seat unit. I know, I know. But it folds up, so you've not got a lot, to, a lot of space in there. Yeah. Josh, Josh, he says she loves um, loves this live demo as they can't get to the shops at yeah. the moment. Hayley Castle is watching while baby has his nap. Shall we speak really quietly then? You're not start shouting or playing any music. You've got the same front wheel lock as well from the other push chair, so you can lock that into position going forwards or unlock again. And you've got your swivel wheels. Ruth is worried she wouldn't be able to keep this clean because it's a light colour. They do do lots of different colours. We also yeah, have a question dark, about though, suspension. Have these products get, uh, got suspension? Yes, yeah. they've, or both of these have got um, a suspension. You can see that moving quite a lot. Stop <laughs> hitting me. <laughs> yes, we've got suspension. Yes, so both of these of products have got four-wheel suspension. Okay. So, yeah, no problem with regards. So I didn't mean to hit you there, Kelly. That's all right. It's going to forgive me. I'm going to forgive me. I think it's worth taking a little look at the bag because the bag again has got a lovely rose gold zip. So you've got a big pocket on the front which is handy to get to straight away and then your little thing holds your handles together. Nikki Harris, that was for you the suspension moment. Open up inside, you've got a couple of pockets in there and again a really nice thick mattress. Change on. Michelle Jones has joined us this morning, or maybe this afternoon now. Let's Nearly this afternoon. Oh, it yeah. is afternoon. It's yeah, good 10, afternoon, 10 Michelle. I'm sorry, we're going on. It's a bit. lunchtime, we've got to go. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're off, we're off. No, we can't because we've not drawn the winner of our no. prize. Oh, okay. We'll get okay. I'll I come can't. back after I've eaten my pasta. <laughs> I need to get in the Italian mood. Yeah, okay. Um, she says about your carry cot on the Ipsy, it looks easier to remove than the carry cot on her current pram. Yes, both. What do you have? Yeah, let us know what you've got. Um, but yeah, it but is yeah, really, easy really, move. really easy. Oh. Really, really easy. Um, basket size. Yep. So you, you, because of the, how the chassis is designed with that frame on top, you haven't got quite as much access. But you have got, you can but push it down. But that does drop down so you can get into it easier. And, and you can get into the front. some of them that well. have this option, they just pop up. Whereas this one, you can pop it down and leave it down. Yep. If you are going to the shop to buy a baguette, this one's going to work really well. Yeah. Really, really well. But they're a good size, so you can get plenty yeah, in there. Yeah, really, really good size. So, yes, I think you'd be fine with your baguettes, particularly for this one. Yeah. Half a baguette for that one? Full baguette No, I think a one. full baguette. Do you think you fit. get a full baguette? Yeah. One day I'm going to go and get a full baguette. Absolutely going to go and get a full baguette. We'll it the same live all week, and then we'll eat it on Friday. I know. We won't, we'll eat it before we actually go live. Oh, yeah. Lindsay says she's never heard of this brand, um, which is annoying as they seem to have thought of everything. Um, but I don't need to buy any push chairs or a high chair anymore. Lindsay, just tell your friends. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Just tell your friends. And do you know what? It's nice to discover new things and new brands because as we've seen well, not this morning brands, but... with Peg Perego, <clears throat> all their products are really, really clever, aren't they? And, yeah. you know, don't... and seeing that on a website is not going to... Well, you don't. You just see, you just see a picture of it. Mm. Yeah, we have a website. You can purchase from our website. But you just see a picture. There is nothing better than seeing it 
in the flesh. Really does, yeah. And that's why the video consultations work really, really well for people because it is a bit of a minefield, isn't it? Yeah. And we do have people who say, I want a video consultation. I don't know what I want. I definitely want a travel system. Well, nearly everything in our showroom can be a travel system. Yeah. But then people say, well, I, I love like the rose gold. I love a rose gold chassis. Yeah. So, okay, fine, we'll get everything out with a rose gold or chassis. Or they might, the opposite, they might come to us very definite with two push chairs that they want to look at. But after chatting to you, the expert you speak to, maybe then can give you some just suggestions that you'd not thought of. Yeah, Sorry, it's opening it up a little bit more for your lifestyle. I was talking to a lady yesterday and she was looking at a particular push chair, but we soon established that she was quite outdoorsy, did lots of walking, got a dog, and the push chair she was looking at really wasn't going to work for her lifestyle because mm. it had really small wheels. Great in the city, yeah. great in and out of shopping centres, but for the rest of the time, we worked out she was going to really, really struggle. And I think she was quite grateful because she knew she hadn't spent £900 on a pushchair that was not going to work for her. So please do, if you're not sure, you know, we don't know when store's going to be open, but we are more than happy to do a video consultation. Plus, we go live every day round about 11 o'clock. Weekday. Weekday, yes, weekday. Round about 11 o'clock, let us know what you would like to see because that's how we work out what we're going to talk to you about. So we've got one scheduled, is it this week or next week? Somebody requested seeing two brands against each other. So yes, next in week I think. For next um, week in our Laura Marsh has joined us. She um, actually purchased the Peg Perego triplet. It's ah. all in the name, yes, isn't it? People loved your pictures, Laura. Yeah, Laura um, needed a pushchair for three children. Not one, not two, but three children so she's got the peg perego triplet we should get it in really so that yeah. you can show so it in a live it's three seats um, one in front of the other and they, all seats can be used from birth so you don't have to worry about carry cots you use it's the seats gonna be, it's going to be big isn't it you know. yeah it is long but, but got it's children. got to be hasn't it there's got to be a bit of compromise to get all three children comfortable a push chair that's going to take two children has a compromise mm. but no we should get the triplet in because it is really, really different. Laura says, the triple X, you can get a whole bakery in the basket. Okay? Oh, yeah, that is a big basket. Numerous baguettes, donuts, and birthday cakes. She's, uh, she's All the good on. stuff. Hey, Not I boring a, stuff. I need a triple X like push chair just to go to the bakers. <laughs> <laughs> I can get, or I can go and buy it. Croissants. And, oh, yes, mm. definitely, definitely. So, Hannah says it's really hard not being able to come to the shop, into shops at yeah. the moment. Yes, yes, it Doom really, sure. really is. Beth Blaylock has got some questions about the car seat, which is our prize this morning. So, shall we swap back? Yes, I'm going to quickly just oh. say the Ipsy for the pushchair and your carry cot is £730, and then you can get your bag and your car seat separately. I forgot to say that bit. I right. just saw it on there. So, our prize today <coughs> is as we've been talking about Peg Perego, it made sense to have a Peg Perego prize. Yes. The Peg Perego Viaggio, two, three legs. <laughs> my Italian so moment Italian. there. It's so Italian. I thought I was on holiday there. I could, <laughs> I could nearly be Italian, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. I, I think you need to go and work for Peg Borrego and go and work in the Italian offices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I would do that. Yeah. Right. Do that. Yeah, no, I, I'd do that. I don't know whether they've given me a job. He's trying to get rid of me. <laughs> Still, I want to come on holiday with you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that's fine. But no, Peg Perego is an Italian brand. Oh, just while I've got my thumb here, we've got about the toy hoop. Look, we can put a toy in there. Or your thumb. Or your thumb. <laughs> <laughs> toy on the, on the push-up. Or your thumb. Nice thumb holder. They do um, the Viaggio 23 Flex car seat, which is a high back booster. It's a nice narrow high back booster. For those of you who've got smaller cars, it may work really well. Or if you've got to get three car seats across the back, or even just one car seat and a big bottom next to it. Like I have a big 14 year old. Who sometimes I have a big bottom. <laughs> I, I do have quite a large derriere. <laughs> I don't know what bottom is in Italian, but I do know what it is in French. It is, it is, joking aside, it is nice and yeah. narrow. And, and you've got your extra See, my features. daughter uses it in one of our cars at the moment. So you've got your recline, um, ice fix fitting if you want to, but you don't have to. On the back, you can fully adjust so you can change. You so, probably would do this when the, you've got it out of the car. So, so if you've, you've got a adjust. child who's cut, throwback from the 80s and wearing shoulder pads, you can at least fit them in <laughs> easy. Fit them in. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great car seat if your child... It's from the 1980s. 80s. <laughs> Won't fit in it. I'm an 80s child, but I'm none not. of my kids wear um, shoulder, shoulder pads. pads. Well, yeah. maybe it'll come back into fashion. Paper ego. <laughs> Future proofed it, you see. For those Future proofed it. Fashion in case. statements of new kids. Absolutely. But 
no, joking aside, you've got a nice narrow base. You can have the middle section wider or not. So if you have got a skinny mini, you don't have to have it all the way out. But if you've no, got a, few positions a chunky go monkey through. child, as you've always referred to yeah. them, you've got that option there. You do. Now, when are we going to start using a high back booster? So the minimum weight for this is 15 kilos, up to 36 kilos. Um, you need to use it up to 135 centimetres or 12 years old, whichever your child would interest first. But we wouldn't advise putting them in before four years old because physically they're not ready to not be in a rear facing, really, um, harness seat. Um, and also can submarine underneath. They might not sit properly. They could press the buckle because it's quite accessible. Um, yeah, lots of different reasons. So max out your seats before you're in a rush to move them onto the next seat. Yeah. Now, it is a nice tall seat. Now, in the UK, it's 135 centimetres before they're allowed legally to be without yes. um, a car seat. But if As you, my son keeps telling me, he's very nearly that. <laughs> well, just tell him we don't care. <laughs> I do. Send him to me. Send him to me. Poor child, I'll have you and me in, in his ears. Yeah. But on the continent, in different countries, the rules are different, aren't they? Mm. So if you are travelling this summer... <laughs> ha, 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 ha. make sure that you check it out this is a nice seat because it does go so tall doesn't yeah. it because in european countries most are 150 centimeters so and you can be stopped as a yeah, uk citizen and find yeah. and find because you've got your child in the wrong seat so if you or are not in a seat or, or not in a seat yeah. yeah beth blaylock says she's got a chunky monkey they're just we like those chunky monkeys they'd be perfect for her daughter she's four and big for her age um, so, uh, Sammy Nicholson says it's an amazing prize. Amy's got a son who's seven. Uh, let us know, anybody watching, one, how old are your children? Because we love to know, not just because we're nosy, but we do, we do love to know. And we like to talk to, about the stuff that's relevant to you. Exactly. Well. Shell White says it'd be perfect for her daughter. Let us know how old your daughter is or whether it's something you would store yep. for your child. And we're only going to give you the prize if you send us a picture of your child in it. <laughs> not actually a term of the conditions. But. You do have to be in the UK, that is in the terms <laughs> and conditions. Um, Michelle Jones says she loves the styling of it, it fit nicely into her car with the black leather seats without looking out of place. Yes, mm -hmm. it, it really, really will. Um, Veronica's written 15k, I don't know why she's written 15k. Was maybe, that a question? Or? Maybe that was the price, £15,000. Oh, so somebody did ask though when you can use it from. Oh, okay. So maybe she was answering that. She beat me to it. Um, she beat you to it, absolutely. Um, Amy says her little boy would love this. He says his high back booster is uncomfortable. Yeah, do your children moan if they're in different seats, whether they're comfortable or not? No, because I review the car seats for Push to Expert, they used to being in lots of different car seats all the time. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just part of their life. Yeah. Just part of their life. Usually, uh, Tristan is rear-facing, but at the minute he's testing a forward-facing shield seat. So obviously that's a big difference. Massive difference for um, him. But because he's used to changing and swapping all the time and I have no worries about him going back into a rear facing seat afterwards either. Yeah, no, it's, I, mine... Some are very much set in their ways, aren't they? And they want the same yeah, seat and want what they Yeah, definitely. And using. sometimes if you have got a fussy child and you've got <coughs> seats in two different cars, it, it's good to have the same seat, isn't it? Otherwise they go, I, I want that seat. Mm. I don't want that seat, I want that seat. And, and then it can become difficult. So if you can have the same seat in your cars or, you know, or a similar seat, same with grandparents' cars. You know, if they're in lots and lots of different seats, they get used to using it, you get used to using it. Because car seats can be confusing, can't yeah. they? Yeah. They really can. And it's an important one to not get wrong. You can't get it wrong. No. You don't want to get it wrong. You really, really don't want to get it wrong. So, Rose French says her son is four and a half years. The older two are too tall for car seats. This will be perfect for him to have in the back between them. Yes, yeah. because it's nice and narrow. And you can use it with or without the Isofix points. So even if you've not got Isofix in the centre, you can still use it. Now, a big question that lots of people ask, if, it's got, if you can use it with or without the Isofix, which is going to be safer for my child? I know the answer. I when know, they're travelling the in the car seat, there, it's not do, securing them no in difference. the car seat. It makes no difference. So fine to use it with or without. The only time it is safer is if you've not belted it back in when they're not travelling in the car. So Vicky Thomas Asmus has said, which car seat would you say is best for an ASD, ADHD child? Vicky, if you, it depends on the age of your child, obviously, because there's so many different seats. If you want to book a video consultation to just talk through some of the options and find out what the needs of your individual child are, 
do give us a shout. Believe you me, I completely understand because I have a child with ADHD and ASD. So I completely understand. So do get in touch if we can help with regards to that. There are options as well, aren't there, that can yep. be modified. So if you do find that you're needing um, a harness seat for longer than for an older child, there are modifications that you can get that are properly done, not yep. just by a person. That, not that we just, you just do. No, no. So <coughs> Laura Marsh has got a 13-year-old, an 11-year-old, a 14-month-old, a 7-month-old and a 6-month-old. She, she lost us. Sorry, yes, I was thinking, oh my God, how that is possible. I didn't really hear, hear who you said it was. Yeah. Uh, um, sorry, I've, I've completely lost where I was up to. Uh, yeah, so pause. Laura, you do have your hands full. That's you why do. you need to strap them in. Definitely have your picture. handfuls. Definitely, definitely have your handful. I think all parents have got their handful at the moment with homeschooling. Okay. Lots of people working and homeschooling. I don't know how people do that. No. I just don't know. I just don't okay. think I could work with my children at home or couldn't have my children at home and work, yeah. I think I'd find it really, really tricky. <sighs> but well done, anybody who is homeschooling. Shall we draw our winner? Because it, it is an awesome prize. It is the Peg Perego Viaggio <coughs> 2 3 Flex. It's, it's nice to do something a little for slightly older children. A lot of us is baby orientated. It so. is, but we've got some awesome prizes coming up. Mm, really, really awesome prizes. Make sure, everybody, that you join us at 11 o'clock every weekday. You said it. I did. Said I said every, every week day. day, not just every day. Um, <clears throat> and we have a prize to give away every day. Today we've been looking at the Peg Perego brand. For lots of you, we've been introducing the Peg Perego brand. If you want to know more, obviously do get in touch. We've got our video consultations. You can message us on Facebook or Instagram. You can send us an email. You can send us snail mail. Just send us a letter. That'd be so nice to get a letter, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's not a bill. <laughs> that's not a bill yet. Yeah, that would be awesome. So let's draw our winner. Everybody who's commented this morning or this afternoon are, is entered into the prize. We are just going to scroll and randomly Kelly's going to shout stop. Not too loud, hopefully. And then we mm. will get your prize organised for you. Your <clears> prize can be shipped anywhere in the UK. Um, so that's the only criteria of entry, <laughs> that's really. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's easy. Right. <coughs> let's go, Kelly. Right. I'm a scrolling. Pregnant pause. Stop! Jeez, that was really, really <laughs> loud. Well, I have to say, congratulations to Jade Clark. Jade Clark is our winner this well done, morning. Jade. So I'm just going to write congratulations. So, Jade, all you need to do is to get us over, I know your name, but name, address, and mobile number for the courier and we will get that all organised for you. So thank you, everybody, for joining us today. You really are the highlight of our day. My next coffee might be quite nice, though. Well, I'm looking forward to my lunch. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm pasta. The third, third time that I've mentioned my lunch today. Yeah. <laughs> I like food. As yeah, we like tell. food. We yeah. do like food. Yeah. Um, you've got an Italian. I think it works really well, having an Italian yeah. lunch, seeing as we've been talking yeah. about Peg Perego, the Italian brand. <clears throat> Mine's Indian. Oh, is it? My lunch, yeah. Yeah, you're a bit off. off we don't have continent. an Indian brand to talk about, so. But anyway, thank you very much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. And if you've got any questions, get in touch. So see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.